Tamara, you're chasing what I think is a very unsettling story, uh, a story that some are calling domestic terrorism. A man with a hatchet attacked a group of police officers, sending two to the hospital. One is in very serious condition. What do you got? Has homegrown terror hit the U.S.? Well, look at this shocking video of a man with a 19-inch hatchet running aggressively at police officers standing on the corner and attacking two of them. Now, the man's been identified as Zale Thompson. And look at his reported Facebook page. You can see on it a picture of a Muslim warrior and also extremist prayers, some say. But now in this video and the pictures of the scene, you can see him running up towards police officers with this hatchet. He attacks one, slicing him on the arm, and the other he hits in the back of the head. Now that officer is still recovering, but he's said to be in stable condition. Police shot and killed the attacker on the scene. This raises a lot of questions if terrorism is involved in this attack. Now the police, they aren't ruling terrorism out. We just had those incidents in Canada and we had Brendan Tevlin here in New Jersey recently. And with the calls coming from ISIS for homegrown terrorism to attack our government, police are taking every precaution. So I chased this to the scene where this happened in Queens. It's a very busy avenue. It happened in front of a Conway store in broad daylight, even though it was raining. Now the security guard that was at the Conway store was there to day as well. Now he wouldn't talk, but he was outside looking at the scene. So to get a better idea if this is terrorism and why police are looking at it as a terrorism case, I spoke with Bob Strang. He is the CEO of Investigative Management Group, and he had a lot of things to say about this. Whether or not he was financed by Al Qaeda, whether he was financed by ISIS, it doesn't really matter. What matters is he was inspired by them. He's the one that actually went out and did this crime and tried to kill these police officers. But I wonder if we have disarmed our police officers where they can't be as aggressive as they were. Because let me tell you, stop and frisk over the years since Mayor Giuliani, it has murder has dropped precipitously. But Bill, in unfortunately, these were four rookie police officers that got ambushed by a man with a hatchet right. running aggressively, took them by surprise. So in that case, you know, stop and frisk probably wouldn't have worked. But is this a terrorist attack? Right now, no one knows. The idea of someone using a hatchet is absolutely terrifying and in a situation like this we're praying for uh, the speedy recovery of the police officer who is who is in critical condition i understand do we have an update on his condition uh, he's in stable condition and there was also another bystander who was hit by a stray bullet she is also said to be in stable condition i got my boots on to do a little gay square dance